this is Captain Chaudhary. In my lecture today, I want to teach you how to find out the intermediate waypoints on a grid circle course. The intermediate waypoints can very easily be found using four part formula just in two steps. Uh, let us take a simple case that you are going from one place to other place and uh, the initial position 24 degrees north, 140 degrees east and then final position say 44 degrees north, 150 degrees west. So uh, here we are. You see actually in great circle the vertex, we will come back to vertex, what is vertex? Vertex is like key to the secrets of great circle. Uh, virtually everything can be found out with the help of vertex. We have to find out the position of vertex and from vertex we can find out anything that is desired. But finding out a vertex, finding out the position of vertex is also a task. It will uh, cause some uses of time, right? Here to find out the waypoints when you are doing great circle sailing, we might omit finding of vertex. We will not find out vertex without finding out vertex. Without finding out what is the great circle distance between A and B, we can find out the waypoint positions. Let us say we have to find out a waypoint 10 degrees off and that point may be, let us say C. We know this angle as 10 degrees. So P is 10 degrees. We know 66 degrees. And of course, it is very, very important to find out what is the initial course so we had found out the initial course as 51.7 degrees, right? So angle A is uh, 51.7 degrees. We know the initial course, that is angle A we know as 51.7. Uh, we know this side as 66 degrees. And then we know uh, this angle as 10 degrees because after 10 degrees we have to find out what is this side. This is a collet of first waypoint, right? So once again we have these four parts, I can explain it separately like this. So this angle is 51.7 degrees. This is 66 degrees. This is 10 degrees. Once again, this is outer angle. This is inner side. This is inner angle. And this becomes the outer side, which we have to find out. Once again, outer angle, inner side, inner angle, which is 10 degrees. And we have to find out outer side the formula will remain same the beauty is the formula doesn't change cot outer side sine inner side is equal to cot outer angle sine inner angle plus cos inner side cos inner angle when we uh, uh, rearrange the formula and write down the values sine of inner side is sine 66 tan of outer side that is what is to be found out tan outer side sine inner angle sine 10 degrees tan outer angle tan 51.7 degrees plus cosine of inner side cos 66 cosine of inner angle cos 10 degrees let us uh, write the values we know everything on the right hand side so sine of 10 degrees divided by tan 51.7 7 degrees equal to 0 0.13714 0 0.13714 plus cos 66 degrees into cos of 10 degrees equal to 0 0.40056 0 0.40056 plus 0.13714 gives me right hand side as 0.537697 that means 0 0.5377 0 0.5377 and that is equal to sine 66 divided by tan of outer side so we can say tan outer side is equal to sine 66 divided by 0 0.5377 so sine 66 degrees divided by 0 0.5377 sine 66 degrees equal to divided by 0 0.5377 uh, that gives me tan outer side so shift 
10 gives me a 59.51 as the cool attitude. So uh, 59.51 is the cool attitude and therefore the latitude would be 90 minus cool attitude and that is 30 degrees 28.8 30 degrees 28.8 minutes is the latitude of the first waypoint. In this four part formula you would have seen that the 10 degrees is uh, used here and here. Here it is sine 10 degrees and here it is cos 10 degrees. In place of sine 10 degrees and cos 10 degrees respectively, if you put sine 20 degrees and cos 20 degrees, we would get the co-latitude at the d long of 20 degrees from the beginning. There is nothing changes. We get uh, the co-lat of uh, the second waypoint that is PD and therefore the latitude of D can be found out. Same way we can uh, continue finding out the waypoints every 10 degrees off. If you want to find out the waypoint 5 degrees off then we may uh, put 5 degrees in place of 10 degrees and we will get the waypoint 5 degrees off. This is how the waypoints can be found out in the great circle sailing and all these waypoints can be placed on a Mercator chart. So on a Mercator chart how would it appear? This is a typical Mercator chart, uh, uniform uh, distance between the meridian and increasing distance between the parallels of latitude and these waypoints would probably appear this way and we can find out what is the rub line course between these points. We can find out what is the plane sailing course and distance between these points. So although we are not doing the smooth great circle a sailing, we are approximately doing the great circle course and incidentally the total distance that is found like this would be less than this particular distance which we feel is appearing as smallest distance on the Mercator chart. Actually by going like this you are not following the shortest route. Shortest route is something like this, right? which is along the great circle. Now we talked about four part formula. By doing the four part formula there are two advantages which I can tell you straight away. Of course there are a lot of other advantages in uh, uh, astronomical calculations but uh, let me restrict myself here only for following two advantages which might be interesting to you. Number one is we can find out the initial course and final course in one step that is without finding out the great circle distance. That means if you use cosine formula you will have to do two steps to find out the initial course. Whereas in four part formula usage you will be able to find out the initial course in the first step itself. Second advantage is if we have to find out the intermediate latitude that means on a great circle course for a given uh, longitude if I have to find out the latitude in using four part formula I can find it out in two steps. In first step I find out the initial course and using the initial course in the second step I can find out the latitude of any uh, intermediate point for which I know the uh, d long. That is the second advantage. 